Hi, my name is Mr. Cadella, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a two-point perspective city. you notice I already have a couple lines here that measured up about halfway on my paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect those lines to make my vanishing point. You can have this line a little higher, a little lower, but do make sure that you're drawing lightly and that it's parallel with the top and bottom of your paper. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in some vanishing points. Make sure your vanishing points are on the very edge of your paper. There's one vanishing point there. There's another vanishing point right there. Those are extremely important, okay? I'm going to refer to those as the left and right hand vanishing point. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where my buildings are at. Now, what I call my corner building, um, you're going to make the corner of it near the middle of your paper. So um, you could measure this to make sure it's parallel with the edge of your paper. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to eyeball it here. I'm going to draw this in. I'm not going to make it too tall. I'll go ahead and drop in my line like that. And that is the beginning of my corner building. And of course we call it the corner building because you're going to see the corner of this one facing you. It's going to be in the foreground. I'm going to match this top point of that line to this right hand vanishing point. I'm going to go ahead, move it over here, line them up just as well as I can. I'm going to draw my building. I'm not going to make it too wide. I'm not going to come all the way over here. I want some room for some other buildings here. Next, I'm going to draw this bottom point over to this vanishing point. Now make sure that you're lining up with your vanishing point as well as you can. Now, some people might ask me, how can you make sure these lines are even? You could measure it, but I don't. I just sort of eyeball it. You can always use your eraser to trim off or erase any length that maybe you drew a little extra there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. This line should be parallel with the edge of your paper. Use my eraser to kind of clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to do the left-hand side. Of course, the right-hand side, we use the right-hand vanishing point. Now we're doing the left-hand side, so I'm going to use the left-hand vanishing point. It's the same process. Make my building about that wide on that side. Of course, your building could be a little taller, a little wider, a little shorter. It's really up to you. Just make it your own. I'm going to come over here. Make sure, again, this line is parallel with the edge of my paper there. You could measure, but usually eyeballing gets pretty close. There we go. There's my first building, the corner building. Now I'm going to draw my next building, which is going to be right next to it. I'll show you a little trick. Um, since most buildings are on one level plane, like a street or a sidewalk, you can drop in this line right here. And you can drop in this line over here. Just remember, draw lightly. I draw a little darker in my videos just so you can see it a little bit better. But make sure when you're drawing, you draw a little lightly so it's easier to erase. So now I'm going to drop in my next building. I'll do it on this right-hand side. Some buildings touch. I'm going to put a little gap between these buildings. So I'm going to start at this street line here. I'm going to come up. I'm going to make these buildings a little taller in the background. This is usually a trick. I kind of make this corner building a little on the shorter side, and then the background building's a little taller. Now since I'm drawing this right-hand side, I'm going to use this right-hand vanishing point. Come up to the top here. I'm going to say this building's about that long right there. Do you remember? Buildings generally get more narrow as they get closer to the vanishing point because they're, because they're getting further away. Go ahead and drop this line in here. I will show you some mistakes in drawing this. Make sure that you're parallel with the edge of your paper there. Now, I did the right-hand side of this building. I'm still not done. Now I need to do the left-hand side. So I'm going to use this vanishing point all the way over here. That's very important. So I'm going to come over here match up that vanishing point. Now you have to make a decision. Am I going to go all the way behind this building till it touches or am I going to stop? I think the, for this one I'm going to stop. Draw this line here. Here's where it gets a little confusing. Some people like want to you know, slant that line or whatever. If this building was perfectly like a rectangular prism, this line should be parallel with the edge of your paper. Sort of like that. Now, we're still not done. There is one sneaky little line that a lot of people forget. It's this line right down here. I'm going to go ahead and use my vanishing point. Just like we did up here, I have to do down here on this line. The end of that line, I'm going to match it up with that vanishing point. Most people forget that right there. So I'm going to erase just a little bit of that street line. That was our guideline. There we go. You see that one recedes all the way into space towards that vanishing point now. And again, you can always erase this horizon line later. We'll just leave it in for this example. You can keep adding more buildings. On this side, I'm going to do another building. Again, I'll leave a little bit of a gap here. I'll just make this one a little bit taller. So I'm going to do the right-hand side first. You can do the left-hand side if you want to. It's 
totally up to you. This time I'm going to bring it all the way to that building. So you actually don't see this edge on this building. It goes all the way behind this one. I'm going to make this one about this wide, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my top of my building to about this point right here. Notice I'm, again, use that left hand vanishing point. I'm going to drop it down to that street line. Now again, don't forget that little line there, and you're going to use that vanishing point all the way over here. It's the same process on the left hand side as it is on the right hand side, same principle. There we go. And that's how you drop in your buildings, you can kind of keep going. Now I will show you something that's a little strange for people. Um, when they get closer to the vanishing point, it gets a little confusing for them. I'm going to make a tall building here. So I'm going to really make this kind of um, distorted. Since you're close to the vanishing point, now this side is going to be slanted pretty acutely. I mean, it's going to be like that. And most people look at that line and go, no way is that right. It is correct. It is absolutely correct. Um, in photography terms, it's probably more referred to as like a fisheye type lens. It kind of distorts the viewpoint a little bit, but it is fine. Now I need to do that left hand side of the building. Again, same principle. There you go. Now, after you get the hang of this, actually, it gets really fun. You can start making all sorts of different kinds of buildings. I'm not going to forget that little line right down there. I will move on to windows and doors in the next video. But that's how you drop in your buildings.